one welcome back um today's set is a recreation set from tino vo um i think i've said that right i'm really bad at getting things wrong so i apologize um but his instagram account you probably a lot of you probably already follow him because his nails are amazing um is at vo.tino so be sure to give him a follow if you don't already but you probably do because he's got a big following because his nails are amazeballs um blah, 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 i'm getting tongue-tied so yeah so it's just a nice gel polish set today um the angel dust that i'm going to use to sugar the nails should be back karen said that it was due back in stock on tuesday which should be today by the way it's friday today but i'm planning on putting these these nails up on tuesday so that the angel dust is back in stock at the same time as the video goes up if it's not back in stock yet it will probably be back in stock very soon um but it's like i love it you need it in your it's got to be one of your staples for sugaring so anyway let's get on with the nails right so i have got nine gel polish colors here this um there's loads look at them all tons of them right this one is flirty that's going to be our nude and that's like a sheer nude but it doesn't matter just you need a nude and you need a vivid color and a more pastel color so for my vivid yellow i've got lightborn and my pastel yellow is lemon pie okay then for my vivid pinky color i've got angelic sonata and the pastel one is creation okay then i have got el rey which is like my vivid sort of minty green and then i've got goddess of spring which is the more pastel color Ta -da! and then i've got the blue one which is i rule though it should say jesus rules <laughs> and then i've got euphoria so these are the two blues okay so i'm going to start with the two nails that need the nude color on so i'm going to put one coat of flirty on and then I will cure that in my lamp for 30 seconds. Then we're going to apply our vivid colour as the base colour of all the nails. So this is the vivid pinky colour. I really love this colour. It's gorgeous. This is the sort of turquoise mint. Mint green. Just mint. It's not really turquoise, is it? It's the mint green the vivid one if you get any bits of fluff or anything get them out you don't want to cure those in then the blue i really like this one all right yeah so this is on the nude nail so for this one we're gonna do a french nail so i'll put the what do you call it the majority of the color on and then i'm going to use my detailer brush just to neaten up the smile line People do smile lines differently. This is just how I done mine this day. And then the yellow one is going to be like a smile line, but the wrong way around, like an upside down smile line. I'm just going to neaten up that curve before I pop it in the lamp. So Madam Glam gel polishes need a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. <clears throat> So this is where I, if you want to apply two coats of colour, you can. I think some I did and some I didn't, but I can't remember which ones I did. Um, I'm going to use the white gel paint now to create the flower colour. I think, um, is it T-Novo? Yeah, it's that way around, isn't it? I think he used a, an even more pastel colour of the color of the nail than the previous two colors i don't think he used white i can't remember but i'm just going to use white so i'm actually trying to do my flower the way he done it he made two little no not two he made like five like lines coming out from like a central point and then he painted on his petals his flower I think was a lot bigger than mine which is why i found it doing i found doing this way pretty awkward um when i do the other ones i do add my normal five dollops of gel paint like using my dotting tool i add my five dots around and then i bring the petals down to a point but i thought i'd try it this way 
I mean, it, it turned out all right. It was, it's a little bit wonky, but it's not too bad. I decided that I wanted to make the petals bigger. I think he done his flowers bigger than what I done mine. And the bigger they are, the easier it is to add the detail and like it yeah the bigger they are the easier this design is just fyi so i'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then i'm going to do the same thing on all the other nails and can you see on the full nails i've added like a flower and a half <laughs> and then we're going to velvet matte top coat these now ready for the kind of line work yeah i think that's the right word my brain is not functioning today. It's Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready for the Easter holidays. Uh, by the way, if I do a set of nails next week, I might give you Madame Glam's 50% off code. No, this is next week. I'm confused because it's currently Friday and this video isn't going up until the following week. So I'm going to confuse everyone with what day and time it is. But if this week I mention Madame Glam's 50% off code, it's because... I originally had planned that video to be up last week, but things I've had change of plans. So bear with me with the codes and stuff. <laughs> right. So you're going to now go around the flower petals with the lighter, uh, the lighter pastel color that we've chosen. So obviously, because this is the vivid yellow nail, we're going to use the pastel yellow color. And you can see now what I mean by the bigger the flower, the easier it is to go around the outside edge. Because when all the petals meet at the centre, it can get a little bit messy there. But just do your best. I'm going to, yeah, I was trying to make them all kind of the same. What do you call it? The same, like the, I was trying to make all the lines the same width if I could. Okay, so that's the flower. Then I'm going to outline the edge of our arch. And then he just seemed to do, he just seemed to add lots of lines sort of connecting and coming out of the flower and stuff. So I was trying to make these lines thinner than the lines that were around the petals but because i'm using gel polish not a gel paint their gel polish is a lot harder to make slim lines with especially sometimes if your gel polish wants to bead up on the end of your brush it makes it a little bit awkward so the the lines all these like I was trying to make some slightly curved as well. I don't know that it matters, but oh yeah, all these little lines ended up being sort of roughly the same thickness as the 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 flower in the yeah. Do you know what you know? What I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, once I have done that, I'm not going to cure it. There we go. So that I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to use Nail Sugar's Angel Dust. This stuff is like a really really fine glitter. Um, you don't get a big pot of it. You get this this little pot, but um, it's really good for sugaring. I love it. Make sure that everywhere is covered with it before you pop it in the lamp. So I'm just sort of tapping it over. So that's all, and it's got like a it's got a little orangey kind of hue to it as well when the light hits it. Give it a cure. I gave it sixty seconds, and then I'm just going to brush off the excess. And it does the same job as acrylic, but when the light hits it, you've got, it gives you, I don't know if you can see it very well. So I'm going to do the same thing to all the other nails. It did take a little while, so I thought I'm not going to film me doing the whole thing, but I'm going to brush off the angel dust. The angel dust should be back in stock today. I'm planning on putting these up on Tuesday. Um, if it's not in stock today, it will be back in stock very soon. And you can save 10% with my code NATMUG10. I then grabbed some crystals. So I'm using the Crystal Fix, my Crystal Katana. And I've got a particular colour of crystal for each nail. So on this blue nail, I'm taking a little dob of my Crystal Fix. 
and these are Preciosa Aqua Bohemica. That's going to go in the center of the flower. All these crystals are from Crystal Parade and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. I can't remember what color the purple ones were. I think they were Alexandrite. I'm going to hazard a guess that they were. So they're going to go in the center of that one. And then in the center of the green flowers, I'm using the Preciosa Caribbean Sea round flatback crystals, which are one of my favorites. They're absolutely gorgeous. Then in the yellow one, I'm going to use, these are Citrine Preciosa crystals. They're going to go in the center of the flowers. Oh, I love these so much. There we go. So they will have a 60 second cure. Where's my arm gone? What am I doing? The box is in the way. I can't see. All right, yes. Yeah, so that is them all finished. Oh, I think they look really pretty. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add some crystals on the tops of those as well. There we go. That is them finished. So, yeah, these are a re I'm sure I said they're a recreation set at the beginning but anyway i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free websites and um discount codes will be down below for you if you fancy treating yourself god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye